three minutes, uh, three rounds of three minutes, as opposed to the pro, pro standard of three rounds and five minutes. Their combined age is right around okay, 40. Okay, ready? And I've got suit, suits older than that. <laughs> He's pushing him on the outskirts of it, making him have to work that little bit more. Um, it looks like he's got decent hands, to be fair. Um, is it the is it young fella uh, Masali? Yeah. Uh, I think he needs to maybe try and get a clo bit closer, um, close the gap, push him out in the middle, get some of his work off. Um, should the round be close, um, you'll see that. Um, Fellow in the middle now will he'll get the nod for the for the round. Just because of the forward pressure and the fact he's got ring control and that, That's you know, that right. gets mentally in the referee's hands. Exactly, exactly. Coach, you see Ronan Dahl's hands are, are low. Um, you know, years back we'd say always keep your hands up, but that's not actually true, is it? it well, it depends. Um, I, I'm a coach that once you're on the peripheral of the pocket or in the pocket, it's crucial you keep your hands tight. But with the distance and you've got the distance gauged, you can drop your hands and keep them at a certain distance. To invite oh! an attack or to come to punch from beneath. Or to, yeah, to counter. Yeah, exactly. So fascinating too. Kid like this comes up a boxer, but that bounce is sort of almost, you know, adapted from taekwondo. That light foot bounce in and out. Yeah, more of a kickboxing style. We uh, ready to, you know, launch kicks. Um, uh, uh, um, for me, Stefano looks the more polished of the two. Oh, he hit him with a nice head kick there. Just grazed the top of him, sent him down. <laughs> the, when the bone glances off the temple. You don't have to hit it too, too clean there, a hard right. And he forces... Masali to shoot for yes. a takedown, which, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, sometimes if you time that right, fantastic. If you do it out of panic, you see you just got shrugged off there very quickly, Robin. Yeah, because when you try to take somebody down back in the old days, oh, yeah. <laughs> beautiful little leg kick. Go to the calf. And a better way to take a guy down is knock him down. And, and uh, but uh, for Masali now, he's got a little sort of a loose overhook on the uh, on the, his left side, and so instead Grondal uh, is trying to pass to his left uh, to uh, Masali's right. We have 30 seconds of this first round left to go, and good position for Grondal to be in, even though he wasn't exactly the one who initiated this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he allows him up and throws the left hand and then the knee. That's smart. That's grown up. That's grown up decision making. Time. There we go. Yeah. First, round. First round done. Dave, if you had to do points, would you, that's a Cronendal round? Yeah, I would say it's a Cronendal round. Also, um, we also practice in our gym. It's a three-round fight, and it's crucial to get the first round under your belt because the second round now, the emphasis is now on the opponent. So shoot ground and Gruden now come out now and have a good second round. Then obviously uh, Masali's got to come out the third round and look for the stoppage. Um, so and in doing that, he's going to have to gamble. If you've got a good counter puncher and Grunendal looks like he's ha ready to invite and counter, and you can win that first round being aggressive, you can switch to round two and now now be responsive. Right? Definitely, yeah. yeah, that's right, that's right. Um, I think um, Masali was just maybe a bit apprehensive on the back foot for too long. But now round two is warmed up, he's had a look, he's had a feel of what's in front of him, so maybe this may encourage him to come a little bit more forward. But well, we'll see if his corner passed that information on to him, because if okay, not, he should round. be uh, listening Fight. over here a little bit. Right. Yeah, so he, he does move forward immediately. You there see, you go. Sally, yeah. he backs him up. And to Coach's point, Ronan Dahl now has the option to respond if, if he chooses. And you see this we're looking to do with that left hook. It's like, okay, if you're going to be aggressive, I already won round one. Now I know you're going to be aggressive. I can counter you. That's right. Yeah. There's that second of three rounds. Cronendal in the orange trunks and Masali in the gray. Another nice calf kick there, Robin. <laughs> yeah, he felt one earlier, and it reminds you, oh, yeah, right, those hurt. I can do that back. 
The easiest way to, to get somebody to kick you if you want to counter it is, oh, is kick him. Yeah. You know, because you remind him and, and humans sometimes. Paul Coronadal yeah. intercepted him there as he came forward. He landed a right head kick and a left knuckle. And again, Coronadal looks like he carries a little bit more power than Masali. Um, and again, he's, he's allowed um, Grounded down to take the initiative by controlling the middle of the act again. the game. So he's got his work cut out for him tonight, I think. We'll see as well if uh, we see Grounded down throwing a few calf kicks and then go high to the head, and we'll see if he repeats that same uh, little pattern here again. The, uh, those, you know, when you're young and well muscled in the upper body, look at, they both have long, thin calves. You know, and that's a typical modern fighting style. Longer, longer limbs and leaner will get you. There's a left counter on the kick. Beautiful. Yeah. I like this kid. Because back to what I said, I think Ronaldo's got to take more chances now because he's lost the first round. Um, Maybe his coaches have made him aware of this, so he's going to have to gamble a little bit in gambling. Um, uh, uh, Round and can look for the counter um, with Masali coming forward. Ooh, he had him lined up, gunned up for that right hand. Yeah, every time Masali runs in, you can see Cronendal, the cock ticking in his head and just wanting to pound into action there. These, um, these concepts that coach is already introducing here, like situational thinking. You, know, you have one around. Now you, that will change your behavior. Your changed behavior is now something I can take advantage of. That's that, right. that, there's just such beauty in that thinking. You know? Yeah, it's fight, it's fight strategic, fight strategy, you know, which we apply very strongly in our gym. And a lot of the young fighters are now um, not physically getting prepared, we mentally prepare them for these fight situations. If only you saw that in Leon and Fabian Edwards. <laughs> <laughs> Look how cleanly you see that. Jeez, now he's really, really gunning, which is, and again, there's a dive for a takedown. And, and he knew it was coming. He could feel that coming. Yes, yeah, brought very efficiently, and now he's getting in. With Ten seconds left to go. Of a fight that he is winning. Uh, you know, and just scoops that leg across. To some degree, Masali yeah, kind of accepted round. that because he knew he could be in guard and guard may feel safer than where he is, but you're not going to win from guard with a few seconds remaining. Exactly. And it now, did seem... He's, 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 he's two down, um, so he's going to come out for the third round and basically he's going to go for it now. And if Groundendale's corner tell him, well, look, this kid's going to gamble now to look for the counter, whether it's a kick, a strike, um, but uh, he's two up, uh, so uh, Masali's got no option but to gamble now. I, I, I like to think of the metaphor where Masali is a guy riding in on horseback now, and you can stick your pike in the ground and impale him yes. as he comes storming That's in. That's right, because he's got to you know, take the initiative. If he wants to win this fight, now he's got to look for the stoppage. Yeah. And that opens up things for Gronendal. The guy's getting aggressive. We think often when we're watching it, we'll think, okay, well, the guy's getting aggressive. I must be defensive. When he's getting aggressive, he's going to move re mental okay, resources out of his defensive Fight. systems and into offense, and that will yeah. leave him open to hit. Uh, there you go. He comes out aggressively. Um, high kick. He knows now he's got to gamble. He's got to push it. He's took the middle of the, um, he's took the, middle of the octagon, as you can see, and um, um, Rassendals took the on, on the back foot looking for the counter. And um, good for him. Good for good for Masali. You yeah. know, he's doing what he should do and, and he's doing it courageously, so good for him. Yeah. It looks like he may have settled back again a little bit more there, letting Gronadal push forward, but Ooh, spinning. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah. That was a forearm that made contact. He wanted to land with the fist. The elbow's actually not legal in amateur here. Okay. He, he wanted to land the fist, he landed the forearm, but now Ronendal's on top trying to pass. Lovely takedown there. But but see, he was just going to take that knee and just smash and, it. And this is when Ronendal can wear out the clock now, knowing he's two up. He, he can afford to keep him down there for as long as he can because, as I say, um, Masali's got to get up and make some kind of um, movement to stop it. Somebody's caught, I don't know who. Um, I think it's Ronendal. It could be. Yeah. Yeah. And and it's just like actually making, it's making him angry. Uh, when you look at Masali's feet, they're currently crossed, so that's so locking it. Right. Yes. To stand up, the very first beginning of standing is putting your, the flats of your feet on the ground, at least one of them. So he, he is at least one step away from standing, and Ronadal can feel that. Yeah. He's well aware of that. 
So Crown and Dowley, he's, he's happy to keep this fight here until the end of the um, round, if, if it goes that way. He's got what, a minute and a half left now. Yeah, yeah. still half the round left to go. So Lots he, of work to be yeah. done. Clean, clean, uh, sh what, what should be clean victories in rounds one and two. Yeah. And now on top in rounds three. And he, him being caught is a great experience for him because when you fight, you're going to get caught. And if he hasn't that, had that experience yet, now's a great time to have it in a fight you're winning. Yeah, well, I, prefer to I would prefer to have it while you're winning, though, <laughs> not losing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, exactly. I think it is Gronendahl on top who's caught, though. I do. I yeah, think it is, is Gronendahl. Yeah. 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 That up kick is a scary one. Uh, Fabian has a, a great up kick moment to ever call. Yeah, the Bedwood boys are well versatile um, on the ground and standing. Yeah, I, I did a breakdown of Fabian landing that kick and then getting right up to his feet and landing the punch. That's man. right, I can't remember the opponent, but he, 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 he up kicked him maybe, I think it was three, maybe yeah. three, four times. Yeah, <laughs> twice to the chest and then once right to the face. face. The man wobbled, he got immediately guy. up to his feet and threw a right and hand. And finished him. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty nice. Fabian has some great moments. Oh. He'll be here tonight, cornering. He will. He will. He's cornering um, our teammates tonight. Aiden. He'll corner Aiden. Aiden. I think he's still cornering. Oh, Tom as well. All of them. And Ronan Dahl doing some good work here, just staying on top of his pressure, landing some shots, keep, making sure that the referee doesn't give him any reason to stand them back up and give Masali a punch of chance. And there we go. That is the first fight done. Masali versus Ronan Dahl. Interesting fight, gentlemen. Yeah, and we said it at the beginning, you know, if you traveled back in time six or seven years and said fight number one, two amateur kids was going to look that good, you'd have never believed it. But the level is just rising so rapidly. Yeah, I mean, if if, if, the, if the card's anything to go by, these lads have started off well. That was a, as amateur fight, that was a quality fight. Um, yes. Brown and Downs won it hands down, but um, Masali will learn from this. Yes. You know, so... Um, and and he's got the spirit, you know. When he's down two rounds and he's coming forward against a guy who's hurting him, he's got that spirit. You, there's the spinning. That was most likely where Cronendahl's nose yeah. was burst open. That we saw yeah. at the end of the fight, nose all bloodied, and yeah. you can see it there on Masali there. Yeah, and like Coach said, you know, I'd ra you're going to experience bleeding. You'd rather experience it while you're winning. That's uh, right. You know, <laughs> because these are all novel experiences are very challenging for the mind in fighting and in anything in life. And uh, the first time you see your own blood start to hit someone's chest or the floor, it distracts you and it'll take you out of the moment potentially. So it's, it, now that's an experience he has and he'll always have it with him. Well, in the fight game, a nosebleed is a fairly common injury. Um, what you don't want is cuts over the eyes, um, the bridge of the nose. Those are the yeah. the ones that shorten careers. But um, nosebleeds, he would have, I'm saying, I'm in not training. saying for, yeah. for training. Yeah. He may have, you know, when they arrange sparring with different um, training partners, you know, nosebleeds are fairly common. But, you know, that's all part of the game. You know, we accept it and yeah. it's part and package. Cool. And let's go over to the official fight right now. Well, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, a big applause for these two athletes, uh, Mimun Masali and Stevano Runandal. Well, after three rounds of three minutes, we've counted the points and we have a winner. And the winner is the man in the red corner, Stefano Runandal. No surprises there. Grunendahl fought an excellent fight, controlled it from start to the finish and really forced Masali to... Russia. Well, of course, also your appreciation for his opponent, uh, Mimun Masali. Yeah, but Masali fought a good fight. He did. He's 19 for crying out loud. But yeah. this is it. We gotta take.